One of the traits of Erasmus is that you have to be inclusive. So if young people are standing, so is the director of the National Agency. Um, when I became the director of the National Agency, I went through the so-called yearly management reports where the European Commission does an assessment of the work of the institution. And I, I took out all of them and there was one thing that stood out. And it said that where we need to improve the work of the agency. And that thing was outreach. So we had to put more efforts in making the program much more visible so that it reaches out to the people who are actually the beneficiaries. So of course, so what do you do? You have info days. And last year it was the day of the info days for the agency. We had about 50 info days all around the country. We rushed up and down and, and did so many things. And did we reach the goal? No. Still people don't understand what Erasmus is. And unfortunately, most of the people that don't understand, are some of them are even beneficiaries and they still don't understand what they're using. So I, we sat down in the office with the team together and we started thinking, how can we make this outreach really work? How can we actually reach out and speak to young people? And then it came to mind that maybe we can actually work on what other organizations have as an advantage that we don't have. So we said and we thought and we spoke, let's go out and talk with organizations that are already have some success and that are already known so we don't have to establish our brand. And this is how Meta came into the picture. So one of the organizations, which was a flagship organization of youth organizations, was Youth Alliance. We spoke with him and we said, okay, you have this fantastic um, event that you do on an annual basis. We would like to participate, but we are actually, what we are really doing, I mean, I'm really being honest about it. We are piggybacking on, on, this, on this event because he can reach to more young people than I can reach, even if I had a hundred more info days. And this is why, and this is the story how we came into the picture of this, um, this thing. And then when you look at European values for the future, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, what is the first value that you, you can think of? There is no bigger value than partnership. And this is how I treat this partnership. It is a partnership because it makes, it doesn't really make a difference who will have the ownership of the event. And this is something that we on the Western Balkans, we don't understand this. It's so difficult for us to actually get this into our head. It is not important who has the ownership. What counts is the effect, it's the result. If he can do a better job than I can, that automatic that means that I've been very successful. And the key word in this is partnership building. And it really doesn't matter who has the ownership. And as a last note, I just want to introduce a very good friend of mine who's here from Portugal. This is the director of the National Agency from Portugal. And I'm, I'm very proud to tell you that today we signed a partnership, a strategic partnership between Portugal and Macedonia, so that we can work together, open more um, opportunities for young people, and maybe work on joint initiatives and build even more partnerships in the future. Um, uh, is there anyone from Portugal here, from, from the young people that are? So, you can add one more country to your list. <laughs> Thank you.